Chef Des coming at you from my kitchen again, Corporate Chef of BC Egg. On social media, there's a popular post of how you can poach an egg in plastic, like in plastic wrap, to save yourself from having the egg spread out in the water. I'm a little bit skeptical, but today, for your sake, we're gonna give it a try so you don't have to. Let me walk you through what we're supposed to do. But before we get started, always remember, every single large BC egg has 14 key nutrients, all nine essential amino acids, over six grams of the highest quality protein you can get. And one large egg, it's only 80 calories. So the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our water. You wanna make sure you have boiling water, and then you're gonna turn it down to a simmer. I have this pre-boiled already. So when we wanna poach the egg, I'm just gonna turn that back on and get that up to temperature. Always boil your water first so you know it's thoroughly hot and then turn it down to a simmer. And that's how you poach an egg is in simmering water, not boiling water. To poach an egg in plastic, as they say on the social media post, you're supposed to take a little portion cup and a large piece of plastic wrap. And it has to be a fair size so that you're able to tie it up in the end and seal the egg in the plastic. So we're just gonna put this plastic wrap on top of the portion cup, and then I'm just gonna push it in the portion cup so we can put the egg inside the plastic in the portion cup. They also say to put a little bit of oil in there to make sure that it doesn't stick to the plastic wrap. So I'm just oiling the part of the plastic that is in the portion cup. And we take a lovely BC egg and crack it in there. And then we need to bring up the edge of the plastic wrap and seal it into a pouch. You can salt and pepper the egg now if you want to or when it comes out after it's done. So you wanna make sure you don't have any air in there and then just keep twisting it so it's easier to tie up. Then I'm just gonna take that and tie it into a knot so it doesn't leak into the pot. And supposedly just like that. So let's get our water ready. While we're waiting for this to come back up to a boil, I wanna remind you, if you go to bcegg.com and click on the Eggs 101 tab, you will find that we have great videos on how to poach eggs freeform and you don't have to go through this. But let's see how this works anyway. Okay, the water's boiling. I'm gonna turn it down just so it comes to a simmer and we're gonna place the egg in there. I like a three and a half minute poached egg, so I'll set a timer for three and a half minutes and we'll see you back here then. All right, that's our three and a half minute mark. Let's see how this egg is. There's some plastic still sticking out of the water, so I'm just gonna grab it with my fingers. Well, it seems okay. We're also gonna put it on some paper towels so we're not transferring all that water on the outside of the plastic bag to our toast. I don't know, like that's three and a half minutes, but maybe it just looks soft because it's in a bag. Yeah, we'll try it. And I'm just going to cut it open. Ugh. That doesn't look very good. I mean, the yolk is runny, but the texture is not very good. For the hassle of having to get out plastic wrap, adding fat to your lovely poached egg, and then having the texture like that, it's still, the whites are still firm, so it's not undercooked. It's just not very good. Imagine doing poached eggs for a crowd and having to tie up every single one in plastic wrap. Not worth the effort. What I do recommend, as I mentioned, go to bcegg.com and check out our videos there, and you will find every solution for however you wanna cook your lovely BC eggs. This is Chef Dez signing out. Where are you getting your protein from?